Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Let's talk about power. Season 5, episode 7 is going down. You know, so Ghost and Angela, they're getting together with Tasha. And they think everything's unlocked. That Terry Silver is going to testify for Tasha. Because Tasha tells, you know, Ghost that, oh, he loves me. That's why he's going to do it. And so Ghost is feeling kind of slighted. Because he was like, damn, was you messing with this dude while I was locked up? And all this other stuff where Ghost shouldn't be worried about. But he is worried about that situation. And so we have, you know, Terry, at first he wasn't going to testify for Tasha, but he changed his mind. He's end up going to, you know, testify on the behalf of Tasha and favorable of her. But, you know, he's, he's like, I can lose my license. And so Tasha actually tells him the truth because Terry thinks that Tasha is trying to protect Ghost, but she's actually trying to protect, you know, Tariq. And, you know, she ends up telling Tony. I mean, um, Terry Silver that, hey, listen, it was my, it was Tariq that killed Ray Ray Jones or killed, um, Detective Jones or whatever. So he's like, okay. I, he was like, yo, won't Tariq turn himself in? She was like, no, you know what's going to happen to him? A young black man in a criminal justice system and his life will be destroyed, blah, blah, blah. And so Terry Silver was like, yeah, that's true. So he said he's going to testify for Tasha and help her out with, you know, letting the police know that she, he was there when she reported the gun right after it was stolen and all of the other good stuff basically so but ghost ends up confronting terry silver and trying to say like if you don't tell the truth i'm gonna you know report you to the board of, of the ethics committee because you were sleeping with your client my you know you was my you was my lawyer but you were sleeping with my wife or whatever so you know terry silver tried to say like hey listen i wasn't sleeping with her while i was defending you yes she was <laughs> you've been you still <laughs> but you guys have it, the your yeah, ethics, you know, is going to be thrown out and going to be challenged. So maybe if Ghost does that, you know, nothing really is going to come of it because, you know, Joe Proctor already got his license. So whatever, you know, Terry Silver said about, you know, Joe Proctor doesn't really come to fruition at all because he got his license back. So, you know, Ghost threatens, you know, Terry Silver. And so Terry Silver bounces. He leaves and Tasha don't know what to do because she's like her meal ticket to, you know, somebody, you know, co cooperating her story is going like now she has nobody that to say, hey, listen, you know, to say yes. Tasha's telling the truth and actually having a lawyer, I guess someone with good standing and, you know, the law to testify for you is very good. But, you know, Terry Silver, he's gone. He bounced. He's 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 like, I this is way too much. All this vagina, it ain't worth all this drama that I'm going through. So he's feeling a certain type of way, but he can still come by, come back and testify, testify for Tasha to help her. Or, you know, basically testify against her. So we'll see if he's actually a witness for the FBI and he's in custody because he's um, he's being protected. Because we know there's an indictment coming down and they want Angela. They want Tommy. They want ghosts. And they got Angela on obstruction of justice, you know, with the ballistics and hiding a gun. And, you know, logging into, you know, Detective Ray um, Jones files and saying that she never talked to this one or that one being on the scene when she wasn't supposed to you know not logging the evidence in of Tasha's gun and you know they didn't find it on the, they found it on the computer that wasn't logged in but then they found the hard copy so you know they have a little bit of evidence but they don't have enough they don't have enough to actually bring down Angela Tommy or Ghost at this time and point so that's why Tamika wants John Sack I mean um John Mark and Sachs to actually put pressure on Tony Tereshi to get him to get some more information to see if he has any information about Angela, especially involved in any murders. If it's, as, if it's Ray Ray's murder or if it's the murder at the, you know, prison where, you know, Mike Sandoval and then, you know, Charlie Murphy, a.k.a. R.I.P. Prison God Charlie Murphy, rest in peace. Um, was killed and Tony Tereshi has information on that. And that really just ties in Angela and ghost it really doesn't really tie in tommy that much so it seems like tony teresh is going to use that information to try to you know bring down angela and ghost or everybody else but except for him and tommy because right now him and tommy are doing really good right now they're making money they're selling drugs and the prison system and everything's going well they committed a murder together so everything's all good between them two and plus connie she knows about tommy and she wants tommy around and she wants tommy to be there when you know she when connie when connie passes away or whatever so 
it seems like, you know, Tony Tereshi is not going to go there. He's going to try his best to protect Tommy as much as possible because it seems like he's, he's seeing Tommy really as his son or is he just looking at Tommy as a mark, as somebody he can make money with because he's making a lot of money right now with Tommy, with Tommy's connect with the drug business, with Tommy's connect, you know, uh, just with money and with Jason that, you know, because, you know, Tony Tereshi doesn't have to connect no more with the Italians. So this is... He could be using Tommy and turn him in, but it seems like since they commit a murder together that he's probably not going to say too much, but he knows Tommy's not going to snitch. So, but you know, Tony Tereshi also knows he needs to get Ghost out the way. He knows that for sure because Ghost has a hold on him, has a hold on Tommy and a way because they have some loyalty. So we'll see how that situation plays out. And it seems like, you know, Tommy is really with Tony Tereshi. He's telling Tony Tereshi about murders and killings and things like that. And Tommy is really kind of like letting his guard down and telling Tony Tereshi about his past murders and things like that. But he wants to get to know about the prison murders. And, you know, it seems like Tommy might say something, but Tommy's looking kind of funny too. I don't know if Tommy is telling Tony Tereshi's murders that he did to see if the feds or anybody else is going to say anything. But right now, Tommy has let his guard down with Tony Tereshi all the way, talking about murders and things like that. So we'll see if um, Tommy actually gives him all the information on why Sandoval was killed because <laughs> Sandoval was involved with Lobos. <laughs> and then, you know, about the prison guard being killed too as well. But, you know, Tony Tereshi was involved in all that, so he knows what's good. So it seems like um, Tony Tereshi is actually playing chess too as well. He's trying to be three steps ahead of his son and Ghost and also John Mark and sax so and also canon like he was telling Tariq, three steps ahead of your enemies you got to be three moves ahead of your enemies get them to fight among each other <laughs> take each other out so we'll see how that goes but connie is really putting the guilt trip on you know tony tereshi about not actually taking um, putting Tommy behind bars because he's actually can help you and protect you once you really get old. It seems like Sammy's getting kind of jealous of the relationship that's going on with Tommy. I don't know if Sammy is Sam, Sammy, or whatever he's going to tell, you know, um, Tommy what's up so Tommy can get away from Tereshi. I don't know, but it seems like there's going to be something that Sammy's going to do that's end up going to either hurt or destroy Tony Tereshi. So we'll see how that situation goes. I'm just like, damn, they're going down. And so we have Donovan. He tries to give Angela the heads up a little bit. And Angela realizes she don't got nobody. <laughs> she don't got nobody. And she's about to call a hit out on John Mark. I'm like, oh, shit, Angela, you getting down and dirty. You're about to be bout it, bout it, rowdy, rowdy. And so, because right now, it's like she's, she's stuck between, she's just stuck right now. So she's meeting up with Steve and actually talking to Steve to see if there's a job available in D.C. I thought it was for Angela, but Angela offers that job to John Mark to get her off her case. And he was, she was also saying, I need a friend and you need a friend too as well. Let's see if John Mark takes this bait or he used this against Angela as, you know, bribery. So we'll see how that goes down. Is, is he going to actually take this job in D.C. and go after Angela or is he going to use this against against Angela is this going to make him committed to bringing Angela down because now he's being bribed in the office where he works at like OMG and what if John Mark has on a wire what if Angela office is wired you know there's some there's some the listening device in there I'm like just like damn Angela you bold with it you bold with it you ain't playing around so we'll see if John Mark takes it takes the bait so um we have Tommy goes to see Jason. He got the two million in the bag. Jason was like, "You better, you lucky you came through with the two million because if you didn't, you've been dead and gone. You and your whole compadre, all you three amigos, would have been gone." So then, you know, Tommy was like, "I'm gonna take the Jimenez later. Don't worry about it. I got it. You're gonna have your ports open. This and that." Kanan jumps in and try to say something, and then that's when Jason was like, "I don't want to hear nothing you gotta say, old friend." And so, you know, now. You um so Ghost you know has has the jump on you know Diego because he was hooked up with Dre him and Dre made plans they made deals Dre take out you know um Jason Ghost takes out you know Diego that's how it's supposed to go down but 
It's not going to go down that way. So after the meeting's over, you know, Ghost is kind of upset with Tommy because he was like, how come you didn't tell me, you know, that the Jimenez got arrested and this and that. And then Tommy was like, yo, you ain't my boss. I don't answer to you. This is my organization. That's it. So don't, and you keep things for me as well. So I was like, ooh. And so Kanan is just watching. He's waiting to jump in. He was like, oh shit. Okay. The ports. And so then Kanan, um, Kanan, he's just like, he's, he, he's standing there. So then Ghost talks to Kay and was like, Hey, listen, I need you to take out something for me. I got to drop on Diego, take out Diego. And you know, that's it. But then, you know, you know, um, Kay was like, yes, all good. He's ready to take out Diego. It's no, it's no problem for him because he knows he's going to do a snake move. He's going to take out Diego, then bring the head to Jason and then actually get good with Jason because, you know, Kay wants to take over Tommy's organization. And he tells Kay that, Hey, listen, he, Kay tells Jason, um, like, I want to, I want Tommy's position. I want to be your distributor. And, you know, um, what's his name ghost and Tommy going to take out each other because that's just the way I planned it because it's going to go. It looks like they're undermining each other and he's pitting one against the other. Cause you see where Tommy was like, I don't need your help. <laughs> I'm the boss. I don't answer to you. And Tommy's actually choosing, you know, to be more around Tony to even though, you know, ghost is wanting him not to. And, to and Tommy's actually doing drug business with Kanan and he's actually letting, you know, um, Tony Tereshi knows his business and Ghost asks Tommy not to let anybody know that. So um, Tommy is doing his own thing. He ain't worried about Ghost no more. And Ghost is trying to take over this Queens, Queens project. And now he's working with Dre, but Dre was going to double team him anyway and have him kill after he kills Diego. But, or... So we'll see how that situation works out. It's just like, damn, it went down like that. And Kanan is doing his thing. He's going to have, you know, Ghost and Tommy fighting among each other. And then he also going to have, you know, Ghost's son, you know, on his side and going to have Tariq slinging drugs and become a, a real top criminal, a real menace to society. You know what I'm saying? And mm, mm, mm. so it's going down like so that's how it is. With that situation, K is actually doing what he's supposed to do. He wants to be the distributor. He's trying to take it. He's trying to get everything. And he, he has no loyalty to anybody. None whatsoever. So it's going to be, it's going to go down. And so Ghost is, you know, so Ghost asks K. I don't know if Ghost should have trusted K with that. But if he didn't, he could have end up getting killed too as well. But I don't think that, you know, Spanky and um, 2-Bit will be able to take out Ghost. I don't think that's going to happen because they were scared to take out Kanan at the end because they're going to lie to Dre and tell Dre, oh, it wasn't Ghost that came through to kill, you know, um, Diego. It was K that came through. So we didn't know if we should kill him or not because last time we killed, um, you know, one of, one of the other gang members, you know, you got really pissed at us. So... It's just going down. But so we got 2-Bit and we got Spanky. They actually working for Kanan. And they're actually giving Kanan all the information that he needs, especially 2-Bit. 2-Bit is telling Kanan all the information he needs to know on Dre. Like Dre, you know, Dre working together with, you know, um, Ghost and both killing each other's, you know, um, suppliers. But the catch is there's another supplier and that's Alicia. So once Diego's gone, there's still a supplier and that's Alicia that needs to be killed. So Kanan needs to either kill her or work with her at the same damn time. And so, you know, so Kanan knows the drop. Kanan got the information from Ghost to her, to go kill Diego. And, th but then he doesn't, but then he knows that Dre was going to double cross him. So it's all good. Um, so, so, um, Kanan knows everything. He knows all the secrets between these mother suckers. And he got information on Tariq killing, um, Detective Raymond Jones. So if, 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 um, Kanan gets tied up or locked up, if anything goes wrong with him, he got that information, which, you know, the FBI wants to know, you know, the criminal justice office wants to know, you know, Tamika wants to know all that information and Sergeant, you know, um, Blanca, she wants to know. So he really got some information on ghosts where he can bring ghosts down either snitch on him like ghost did him and put him behind bars or you know set him up to get killed with tommy so we'll see how that situation plays out i'm like damn 
K is playing his role right. I'm like, Ghost got to see something ain't right. Ghost got to see something ain't right. Something ain't going on. Something's just really a disconnect. But I think he'll probably find that out more later on. I'm, I believe next episode. So it goes in. It goes down. So then Councilman Tate talks to Ghost. And like Ghost know that I don't need you a part of the, you know, um, Queens Project anymore. I'm running for governor. And then Ghost is like, damn, you're going to kick me out like that. Ghost is feeling a certain type of way about Councilman Tate. But then Ghost ends up getting... Um, Alonzo or somebody that guy that's you know running the streets like oh you know um councilman take is stealing money off the top of the queen's project to pay me so ghost gets that information recorded let councilman take know what's good that i'm gonna stay on the queen's project so don't try to play me because if so this will come out so councilman takes like damn because Councilman Tate tried to run in there like he he outsmarted Ghost. He was better than Ghost. But Ghost is on his game. When Ghost can concentrate and focus, he can get them. But it seems like he's more in the business aspect and more of manipulating and, and kept catching loopholes to bring down his enemies. But his enemies that are real close that can really bring him down is Tommy and um, Kanan, really, and Angela. Angela's not his enemy, but, you know, Tommy's really not Ghost enemy too as well, but he's going against everything that Ghost asks him not to do. So that kind of makes him like a liability and an enemy too as well. But, you know, like they're, they're not on that path where they go, they're they trying to set each other up to kill each other. Ghost is really trying to get Tommy out the business, trying to get rid of, you know, Jason is going to kill Tommy's, T Tommy's connect, period, where, you know, what the hell is Tommy going to do? So Tommy's running all his business to, you know, his father talking about, you know, how they used to launder money, run money through the system and the streets through the laundromat. And so Connie comes up with a new idea to tell, you know, Tommy how you can clean your money from the prison because of the opportunity that Tony Tereshi and Tommy created in the prison system to smuggle in drugs as, you know, creating a ambulance service and nobody would question the ambulance service. So t Tommy was like, that sounds great. It all could be a setup to get Tommy or it could be something that Tony Tereshi is setting up and going to take over in the end. Just like, you know, Kanan wants to take over, you know, Tommy's position with Jason. And so then Tommy's mom find out that Tommy's over there chilling with Tony Tereshi and Connie. She comes through like a hurricane yelling and screaming, talking about Tommy, why are you doing this? And Tommy has turned his back on his mother for Tony Tereshi, which is the dude is trying to put him and everybody around him behind bars. Didn't give a shit about him for years and years. Knew where he was at his address, but didn't want no parts of him. All of a sudden, he wants a part of his life, wants to protect him, be his father, and all this other stuff. And Tommy, being from the street, should know, like, yo, this shit ain't right. Like, dude, you ain't never been around. So Tommy is having this relationship with his father because they killed somebody together. Like, the family jewels would kill us. Tommy's so easy to forgive and move on with people that's supposedly his friends and his family or whatever but Tommy grew up lonely so it seems like Tommy was just wants attention he just wants love and he wants that family experience which he is getting from Tony Tereshi and Connie now and his mother is on the outs and Ghost is on the outs with him too as well so Tommy but Tommy's actually chilling with Angela Angela and Tommy got, got shit going down together. You know, Tommy's popping up at her crib, popping up in her car. Was like, yo, let me know the information. Because John Joe Proctor was telling Tommy, hey, listen, you know, I got my license back. I'm all good. I'm surprised, um, you know, um, Tommy's like, how did you get your license back so easy without going, to, you know, how do you get it back so easy? He didn't ask him, but he was like, yo, you got any dirt on Angela? So at that time point, Tommy should understand that Joe Proctor is working for the other team that could bring, and Angela could bring everybody down. <laughs> everybody in this situation, Joe Proctor, Ghost, Tommy, Kanan, and, you know, um, Tasha, and Angela, Angela, they can all bring each other down because they're all in cahoots with each other doing crazy, shiesty shit. So, anyways, he's trying to get information on Angela with the prison murders. But, you know, Tommy knows about what happened with the prison murder. But he finds out that Angela warned Terry Silver and Terry Silver told Tasha. Or, or, or did Terry S Silver tell, you know, Ghost? Either, either or. It came from Angela's doing. It came from Angela's mouth. And so... Tommy trying to put a connect together to help out, you know, um, Joe 
Proctor, but he doesn't know that if he brings down Angela, he's bringing down himself too as well because, you know, all this shit all re leads all back to Angela and Ghost. So, and their relationship and their dealing, every murder, every killing, somehow it leads back to Ghost and, you know, um, Angela before Kanan became, came in this season, just killing off of, you know, Crystal Ball's boys. <laughs> and we didn't even see Crystal Ball this episode. So we'll see what happens with that situation. I'm like, damn, it's going down. So Angela and Tommy are kind of like working together. He's trying to get information too, as well, to help out Joe Proctor. And, um, you know, um, Joe Proctor was like, I would ask Ghost for some information, but, you know, he ain't going to tell me nothing about Angela. And Tommy don't really care whether he snitches on Angela or not, but I don't know if he's thinking correctly because he don't want to bring down Angela because they're actually working together and she's helping him, which he can help her put the Jimenez in, in jail, lock them up or whatever, get the drop on them, get the drop on Dre, get them locked up, and then it'll be all good. It'll be kosher with the situation, so we'll see what happens with that, but... It's just like, damn. And so, you know, Angela's thinking whether she should put a hit out on John Mark or not with, with Tommy. And she's like, damn, I really, she feels like she really crossing the line. Like she's, she's out there and ain't, ain't no playing, ain't no playing. So, you know, um, Councilman Take, he got checked by Ghost. So Ghost letting you know he's still on it. And to Tommy's asking Angela about the Jimenez because Tommy gets the word from, you know, Jason, like, hey, listen, you know, they let the Jimenez go. Then that means if they let them go, then they're snitching on another, another organization. So then Angela put two to two together when she's talking to Tommy. Oh, you don't even work for the Jimenez. You work for their competitor. Who is that? So Angela's trying to find out all the information she can. And, um, <laughs> and now she's going to realize that Dre works with the Jimenez. Like he is their distributor in New York. And all over the place, wherever else he's doing. So she's connecting the lines. And so is Tommy connecting the lines too. But I don't know if Tommy's going to, it's going to be too late when Tommy connects everything. Because it's all going to, somehow they're going to figure out that Tony Tarashi is a snitch. And he got out because he was working with John, John Mark. Is John Mark actually going to take that job in DC and let Angela know that, um, Tony Tarashi is actually working for them? That'd be crazy. We'll see. But that'd be too easy for that to happen. So. We'll see what happens with that situation. I'm just like, damn. And so, you know, Tommy gets back with Keisha. I mean, Lakeisha, he gets back with her. They have a relationship. She feels like it's real. But Lakeisha, you know, Keisha, she ends up telling, you know, Tasha about her and Tommy hooking up and Tommy's father being back in the picture. So that means that, you know, um, what's her name? Um, Tasha is going to be doing an investigation on what's going on with Tommy and his father. And she's going to find out the information. She's going to find out something. She's going to have Angela do some checks. She's going to have Joe Proctor. She's going to have somebody. Silver, Silverman, Silver might come back into the situation. I don't know. But she's going to find out about, you know, Tommy's father. Because now it seems it, it, she could put all this, everything together. It's just like, I don't know why I don't keep Tasha in the loop. Like Tasha and Angela and Ghost. And Tommy, they should be sharing everything with each other. But Tommy and Ghost are working against each other and working together at the same damn time. And Kanan is working against all of them. <laughs> and he got Tariq willing to sell drugs on campus and telling Tariq that he don't need his father. That he's going to be bigger and better. He's going to be um, selling weights, making that money where he don't need his father for anything. He becomes his own man. And that's the same That's the same thing that, you know, Kay was teaching Tommy too as well. Become your own man. You, you can't make no moves without Ghost. So it's actually people that were loyal to Ghost getting them to actually go off on their own and make their own decision, which um, Kay knows that if they follow Ghost, they're in the right position. But so we'll see how all that whole situation goes down. It's going to Tariq going to be the man on campus. He's going to get caught up, though. So it's going it's gonna to be some it's going to be some situation. Tasha finds out that Silver's gone. He bounced and she don't know what to do. And she's mad at Ghost about the situation. And um, I'm just like, damn. So then Dre is telling 2-Bit everything about the plan, about Ghost coming in to kill Diego. And then 2-Bit tells, you know, um, K all, all the information about, you know, Ghost. we supposed to knock off Ghost when he comes. And then, you know, Dre's going to go over there and kill, you know, um, um, the sit the um kill somebody else, and then that's when you know Kay was like, Oh, um, Jason and the sit um names them, and so he was like, What? So, why would he want to take out 
you know, why is Dre going to kill, you know, Jason? So now he realized what Ghost is doing and Ghost and, you know, um, Dre are actually working together when, you know, um, Ghost is supposed to be killing, you know, Dre at the end of the day once they get to connect with the Jimenez. So, you know, 50 is like, all right, word. So he gets in there. He kills, you know, Diego, chops his head off, bring it to Jason. Let Jason know I took care of it. It's between me and you because they, they're slow, they, you know, they're slow to it. And there's a hit out on you coming and I got you. And he was like, well, Jason was like, let's kill him now, which is going to be Dre. And, you know, Kay, Kay was like, nah, nah, because we he's going to lead us to Alicia so he can get his ports. So it seems like, you know, Kay has already took over Tommy's position, but Jason wants to make sure that Tommy and Ghost are gone. So, you know, Kay tells Jason that they're going to both kill each other. I'm playing them against each other. Basically, they're going to take out each other. So Jason's like, if that works, then you 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 become the man. And so Dre's there to kill Jason. Jason's gone. And so now this is going to cause confusion between, you know, Jason. I mean, with, you know, Dre and Ghost. Like, you know, Ghost kept his word, but then Dre didn't keep his word. So it's going to be like a problem. And Dre's going to be thinking that he's being set up because, you know, somebody had to give the drop on Jason. Jason's not there too as well. I don't know if Dre's going to put it two, two together that his boy 2-Bit is actually working with you know, K, because once, you know, Too Big tells, tells, you know, Dre that, hey, listen, it wasn't Ghost that came here to kill, you know, um, Diego, it was K. So is, you know, Dre going to put two, two together? But also Too Big is seeing how shady that Dre is, how he's like um, snitching on Crystal Balls, talking about it was Crystal Ball decision to get on Ontario to work, you know, for the organization and put him in charge and all this other stuff. But it doesn't matter anymore because Diego's dead. But, you know, see, you know, two bits sees how Dre is moving. So he's going to, so he, that's why he's okay with working with Kay and working with Jason when, when time comes and Spanky's ready too as well. So it is what it is. It's going down. And so, you know, um, we'll see how it, we, we're going to see how it, it, it just, oh, it's getting there though. It's getting there. It's getting there. I don't know if Angela knows she's going to put it two together that, you know, um, Joe Proctor got his license back because of sex. So I wonder how she's going to put all that shit. To, I wonder if she's going to put that together soon, fast, in a hurry. And then they're going to find out whether Silva is actually snitching or is he actually on the run. And so we have, you know, um, mm mm mm. Two bit and spanky, they're just really they're, <laughs> they're they're not even on Dre's side anymore. But once Dre once Dre and um Ghost end up talking, it's gonna be some confusion. It's gonna be a lot going on. And then once once Tommy finds out that Ghost tried to kill Jason, it's gonna be a problem too. And you know, Kay is gonna tell that, you know. So it's all every what everybody's doing secretly and in the dark, trying to help the other one, trying to cover their back is ultimately gonna come to the light. And Alicia, she wants her brother's dead, so it's it's not a problem, so there's no beef. And then having Dre take care of it is good, but Dre gotta get back into these clubs and start distributing drugs and and to all these you know um hotels around the world because that's what alicia wants but right now tommy seems like he's safe a little bit with tony tereshi because now he committed a murder with him so we'll see what happens peace i'm out one love